testing students here at McLean and throughout the city, I've learned that their lung functions are not quite up to normal. I think there's a good correlation between the air pollution and uh, cases of asthma here in the valley. I'm surprised right now at how young, how many young children carry those inhalers. And then when I say take a deep breath in, you're trying to get as much air as you can. It concerns me. At a younger age, we're medicating kids because of poor air. In the San Joaquin Valley, we have very hot summers, and it's been shown for years that the ozone pollution will increase as the temperature rises. There's been a direct correlation with the frequency of heart attacks, uh, death, sudden death, uh, hospital admissions for heart failure on days when air pollution is worse. Fresno, along with the rest of the Central Valley and Los Angeles, have some of the worst air quality in the nation. Um, but in fact, three quarters of the state's population lives in areas with unhealthy air. Ozone is formed uh, through a reaction of different chemicals in the air, and it's fueled by sunlight and heat. So as global warming happens and temperatures rise, conditions will be more conducive to the formation of ozone. And this will make existing problems even worse. Personally, um, I think air pollution is a is a very negative, has a very negative social impact on a, on a community. Professionally, uh, we have great difficulty at attracting physicians on one issue only, um, the air pollution. This year, we lost two neurosurgeons uh, because their kids have asthma and they moved out of the area. Many communities suffer from poor air quality. Uh, if global warming emissions continue to increase unabated and temperatures increase 8 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit, as is predicted, the number of days in the Los Angeles and Central Valley regions conducive to ozone formation could increase 75 to 80 percent. Breathe in. Valley air already is contaminated enough as it is. If global warming is only going to make it worse, which is what I have heard so far, that's only going to make it worse, I believe that something should be done. We're burning all these fossil fuels, not only polluting ourselves today, but making our pollution difficult to deal with tomorrow. If we get into the levels of temperature, the global warming that is predicted and predicted for the valley, I think the valley will pretty much be uninhabitable.